You want to do the intro with me? No? No. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for episode number three. Oh man, y'all, this is getting good. I've already told all my friends and family to not expect me to come around for the next week or two because I'm dedicating more time than I ever do to recording. Like normally I have set days to record. Pushing that aside, this game takes priority. All my free time is this game. That's it. Okay, that's how much I'm enjoying this game. Uh, but I probably sound like a crazy lady. So if you guys are new here, welcome in. And if you're not, then you probably remember where we're at, but I'm just gonna update you guys on the status of where we're going, where we've been. We are sitting at episode number three, and I have been taking a very slow approach to this, at least I think a slow approach. Um, there are still some things that I want to do on some of these planets, but as of right now, in the last episode, we got to explore Timber Hearth a little bit more, and we found some more ruins. So we got to translate some more Know My Text on our home planet that also ended up telling us about this hour, the Hourglass Twins project, something with that. And so, yes, we've been hearing lots of rumors and lots of conversations happening about the Hourglass project. However... That's a really hard place to land, and I don't know if I'm ready for it. It's so close to the sun. Do you guys remember? I almost burned to a crisp in the last episode trying to get to it. I also have had a lot of situations where I have been completely blown up due to this unknown blue orb that's coming in and just absolutely crushing me. And a little backstory to all of this. I, It's not that I'm completely, uh, like, just naive when it comes to things from space, but... I never like at least in our education system as well it's not something that you learn too too much about like you do in some earth science classes and things like that but other than that unless you go down that route and take more specialty courses it's not something that I'm very well versed in I've read a lot of really cool books my favorite book from last year was Project Hail Mary so I love space I've loved sci-fi I've always enjoyed that genre but I just have never done a lot of time off or I guess on my own to educate myself on other aspects and of what I, I, all I'm trying to get at is I have no idea what this is. I look at it and I'm like, this is an exploding star, but that cannot be it at all. Uh, so I really do like implore you guys to share any like, scientific facts that you guys know. If there's some things that can help, uh, tips are always welcomed because I'm recording so much so quickly of this. I don't think I'm ever going to get to see your comments until I'm already done with the game, which might be the best case scenario anyway, just because I've heard that there can be a lot of spoilers when it comes to this. And I'm already picking that up with how much mystery and just there's so many questions I'm throwing out at you guys. And I know it's hard not to answer them. And so I think this will work out for the best, but that by the time I finish this, then I can look back and see all of y'all's input, see what you guys did, what routes you guys took. So please, I definitely ask you guys to share that with me. I always love seeing those after I finish the game. <laughs> Um, other than that, for anybody who didn't get to see last episode, we spent a ton of time in Brittle Hollow. I'm looking at the map right now because I'm still trying to get um, really well versed with the names and everything. But we were getting absolutely wrecked by Hollow's Lantern. We found out about the... Um, is it the phantom moon i think so i'm gonna try to land on that as well but we are not done with everything on brittle hollow there's a couple more stuff that we need to discover but when we were on brittle hollow we found another settlement that the nomai created after they had crashed course into brittle hollow so what the largest piece of information we found out in the last episode was they had their nomai mothership that then ran into i think some of the brittle hollow not brittle hollow um Ah, uh, the the really bad planet, the bad planet. I can't see that on the map quite yet. It's a little too far off to the side. Um, past the Giant's Deep, you know what I'm talking about, the one where I'm predicting our missing man is on as well. But long story short, that kind of wrapped itself around the mothership from what we could see in these visuals that we found on a wall. Um, and then they had three escape pods. We found one of the escape pods on Brittle's Hollow. So that means there's two more escape pods out there somewhere. Um, and so we're going to be looking for those as well. I think today I want to go to Giant's Deep. I think we're going to try to do that next. So 
let's say a quick prayer because this is going to be rough. I keep talking about it in every episode, but there is this lightheartedness to this game, but then there also is an extreme seriousness to it. And there are moments of sadness, especially because we're talking about a culture like no, my, uh, because we have the translator, I'm seeing not only how brilliant they were, I'm seeing their jokes. I'm seeing how personable they are, how similar they are to our own species in in certain ways right in their mannerisms to one another and everything but we're also seeing the they're missing they're gone we're seeing death left and right like we've seen multiple skeletons from them and so i just am trying to figure out are they completely all wiped out or is there still a, something besides the remnants of them left out here in the galaxy or maybe some of these people from the escape pods did happen to make it and they jumped to another solar system or something. I'm not quite sure the limitations of their technology or what they're capable of doing, but yeah, I know there's a lot of rambling. There's so many things going on in my head when it comes to this game. I think there's so much to unpack and I'm sure that's why it's so beloved is there's so many different interpretations and different routes you can go and each and every playthrough is so unique. And that's one of the wonderful things about it. And I'm sure that's one of the most enjoyable things for anybody who likes watching people's playthroughs of these and getting to see it again through a new set of eyes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy episode number three, rambling over. Let's go daddle. Part three. Let's go. And no, no, don't do this to me. Don't. There we go. <laughs> Keeps not wanting to pick up my controller. All right, let's get to the ship. So, I still need to decide if I feel like I'm having the same day over again or if I'm just building on top of it. I guess you'd have to be repeating the same day over and over again, 50 first dates, because otherwise he would, because the person that we're interacting with always thinks that we haven't gone yet. Right, yo. Let's go ahead and just do a little recap at the ship log. I forgot about this part. I guess I haven't really interacted with this. I've mostly just been doing the rumor mill. But yeah, now that we have this, let's do this. Escape pod, high energy lab. So possibly, okay, one of the three Nomai escape pods landed here on the Hourglass Twins. Ash Twin Project, that's what it was called. I kept calling it the Hourglass Project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by immensely thick protective shell. Right. There is some stuff that we still need to do here. Mm hmm the dark bramble seed. That's what it is. Over here, we've got Esker's camp. Everything's pretty calm out on our dear old Addle Rock, where the deer and the cantaloupe lay. Rybeck, yes, we still haven't seen anything that updated us on Rybeck. And the Southern Observatory. Decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye, right? Northern Glacier we ran into, the escape pod we ran into, and the old settlement. However, there's still more things we need to explore in the Hanging City. I just have no idea how we're going to get back there because we can't use the upside down gravity plant or uh, glowy things. The quantum moon. The Nomai on Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. Is it possible that Rybeck went to the phantom moon? Yes, so we have not gone out here. And we've not gone to the Dark Bramble. And then what is that? Whoa, hold up. So we have gone to the White Hole Station. Yeah, you can see everything we've done. We've done the White Hole Station. Oh, and the Interloper. We haven't figured out about the Interloper yet. So... Nothing's really told us to go to Giant's Deep. That's, well, I mean, other than checking out Gabbro. Learn more about the Nomai statue. Why don't we mix it up and we'll go to, like I said in the intro, we'll go to Giant's Deep, we'll kind of see what we run into, and then we'll go from there. We definitely should try to find the other escape pod on one of the twins at some point in time. And prepare for a takeoff. Oh, the v uh, can you imagine? Hmm. This goes into... And I know this strikes fear into a lot of you guys after seeing my previous piloting skills, but my brother recently got his private pilot's license. And when he took me up, I never, 
thought I had a desire to fly or to be a pilot, but something about being up there, it completely changed that for me. Like it would be a dream to be able to fly a plane one day. There's Giant Steve. Right, engage autopilot. <laughs> I love how I feel when I play this game. Like, I feel like a kid again. <laughs> I guess I should try doing it without autopilot, but autopilot just makes it so easy and then enough to deal with the kerfuffle. All right, firing retro rockets. Yes, we have an unknown, which is now, most of this, I believe, is water, so when we're landing... Oh no, when we're landing, this is gonna be... Tough. Landing mode. Alright, we're coming in. I'm gonna do... No, go back to this view. Is this not mostly water? Alright, debris, debris, hold on, that's not good. Wait, that's not good at all. Hold on, I think that's floating. Guys, I don't think we can just land on this. Can we? Oh, shh. I don't even know where we are. I don't know what we're doing. Okay, we're back out from the planet. Do I just... I'm scared. Mm. Okay. Just take it nice and slow. Oh. Whoa! That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. What is that? Okay, we broke through. Bramble. Oh, really not good. Okay, so we broke through. Like I'm on Camino right now. Bramble. Oh, it's covering something. This is so scary. You guys know I hate water. This is horrifying. Water tornadoes. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I see a landing spot. Landing spot. Okay. Okay. That's fine. This is fine. This is good. Why do I not have power? Before we go out there, let's see if that covers this. <gasps> Buckle up. Okay, wait, what? We've been launched off. Okay, what? I think that just tossed us. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to repair something. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my! <laughs> oh. oh, snap peas. Snap peas, my ship! My ship! <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Unidentified signal. There he is. He's just hanging here. Okay, so it's a good thing we found him too. I feel like at the same time, I feel like I... ghost matter detected. It's this weird combination of feeling like it's dramatic, but when you play this for the first time, you're horrified. Like every single climate that you get into, you have no idea what to expect. Okay, this is good. The all the ghost matter. How are we supposed to get through it all? Gabbro? You can, oh, we can climb up there too. Okay, let's go ahead and, nice. All right, signal detected. Nice, it's you. Good to see you've made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Hold on, me. Put this right here. Ah! Stay. 
So hey, don't freak out or anything, uh, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately? Or is it just me? It's happening to him too. He came into contact, he was the one that found the statue. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. What did you think it was? <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences. Now, I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. I guess you wouldn't really know, would you? Would you know? It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. <laughs> Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remembered by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone no my statue I found on one of the other islands. I don't know why my ins like instinct is to use that accent for them it's just gone it's just happening i was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing it replayed my memories like it had seen them through my eyes just like what happens each time i die that happened to me too with the statue at the museum you too huh then the nomad statue must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop so no glowing statue no time loop awareness? I think that's gonna be my leading theory. But if you find anything out about the new statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? How's space treating you? Ooh. Actually, that's a good question. Where is your ship? Yeah, bro. That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet, somewhere. <laughs> I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. All right. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long? It started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they put you in a trance if they stop. Wait, if they if you stare at them for too long. I always like. Wow. Okay. I did say space tornado instead of cyclone, but I'm also thinking about, it just instantly plays that song in my head. She moves her body like a cyclone. What's up with the planet? Ha, huh, I know, right? Oh, you mean like, tell you more about it? I gotcha. Well, Giant's Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprise there. There's a strong current away beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could to get past that current and neither idea worked. As far as land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in the water. Less likely to kill you. Okay, land in the water, got it. Where should I explore? Here's something you might like. At the start of every loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be ta something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to the statue island? So even if I wasn't dying, I'd still be getting forced into the time loop by the giant blue thing. It wasn't my fault. That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's an island where I found the glowing Noma statue. Get it? I was on the beach on the statue island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid seven out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. I guess I should have gone with my surfer bro voice, I think with this one. If you feel like checking out the statue island, it's the one with the two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected. Anyway, you'll see. What are you doing out here? I love how he's just stuck, like, okay. Well, what are any of us doing here, really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring the solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful, 
Sometimes a cyclone comes up and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Nice, nice. What you got for me? Actually, never mind. No worries. Feel free to let me know when you do find something cool. Okay, so I tell him when... <gasps> oh, Bramble. Bramble with some floating stuff on? All right, the ship's over there, guys. Let's stay on this island. Can we swim down below? It's the lanterns for me. This is probably my most feared planet. Hands down. Oh, look, you guys keep asking for Subnautica. There's nothing I could imagine that's worse than Subnautica to me. I'm not scared of water. I just don't like when I can't see my toes, you know? All right, let's roast a marshmallow. I love how they allow you to take your gear off for one second to roast your marshmallow. All right, cook it nice and roasty toasty. And crunch. I think that's enough. Okay, there's my ship. I don't think there's anything else. What is Gabbro's instrument, actually? I'm not, I'm not quite sure what it is to begin with. Should we try going in the water? I. Mm. No, no, where am I? Where am I? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can we take our ship underwater? I don't think we've really tested that, have we? Let's go around. Oh. Buckle up, Buttercup. Nothing there. See if there's anything else. Nope. All right, level out, level out. Find Arch Island. Oh, oh, there's an island, but that I don't. Oh, that is the Arch Island. That's the statue. <gasps> right, we're right. Small one. Uh, this is a little bit of a predicament. I don't really see where I'm supposed to land here. That will do. I suppose that would be a landing point. Rightio. Yeah, but how am I supposed to get to the other side? This is something different. No, look. And we have oxygen. Perfect, 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 perfect. Lots of oxygen. <gasps> wow, oh no. more the cyclones two symbols with cyclones more death that thing isn't that the space that's um that's our space um the white hole station right white star station whatever it was you know what I mean There's more stuff over there, if we can make it over there. I bet I can walk on those paths. Yeah. I think they created plat- Oh, no. Oh, man. I was thinking they created platforms like- <gasps> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm in space, I'm in space, I'm in space. Put me down. Whoa, these are doing something. Oh, they lock you in place. Okay, this is good. I think they lock you in place until you go back down. <gasps> yep, and now we're back down. Clever, but, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, lock me in here. Yep, and now we're back down and then those don't work. So this is in case of, <laughs> in case of cyclone, cyclone pads. That's clever. The Nomai are so intelligent. So intelligent. <sighs> okay. Cassava, this is it. We've finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to ascend it into orbit around the giant's deep for assembly. Our next stop will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon. 
to install the probe tracking system. So that must be the orbital cannon. That's not the, um, that space station. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Daz, if I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse, will want to launch that probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried that the cannon will break under strain. I propose we give at Avens and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. <laughs> Clever, clever girl. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you can launch me from the orbital probe cannon. All right, so Cassava and Daz are together, and then Avens and Mallow are also another of my couple. I feel like there could be another cyclone here soon, so I'm wondering if I should prepare. Because if I stop... Mm, it's hard to see. Okay, let's go this way. This is horrible. We're going to lose our grip on this. We'll lose the grip if we get launched into space. I think there's going to be another cyclone soon. Control module. I'm going to stand on this just in case. Surprisingly, this planet I enjoy more than Brittle Hollow. Despite all the water, Brittle Hollow is just horrifying. 11 minutes, 31 seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched from orbital probe cannon. 11 minutes ago. Ship lock. Uh, right here. Projection stone. <gasps> I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says that there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling a, my locomotive limb here, Cassava. Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem. So the orbital probe cannon is on the in, uh, indefinite hiatus. But they did get it to work because it launched. Tell Privet and Malo that they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. It's interesting they use the term my spouse, like instead of the name of the spouse, a lot of times, or just a few times, but still. Interesting kind of detail in the text. Avens, an update. Malo and I will join you and Daz and Privet or you and Daz, Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea, Idea may feel responsible. So I do want to know the difference between... I guess the pieces that are orange don't contain anything of, like, note or updates to our ship log, whereas these do. Like, you can see the mention of keywords. Okay, remember this. Yeah. Oh, translator. Oh, no. I These are so trippy. And I still haven't figured these out. It's just a projection stone. Is this the cannon? Wait, that's giant steep. Going over it. But I can't walk on the projection stone. And like, I can't grab that. See? It's so weird. Let me try to get a better look at it. Yeah, this has to be maybe the cannon that they spoke of. You can see that we're in glass. Oh, it's going down or the. OK, watch, watch as Giant's Deep. Are we running into Giant's Deep? No, it's just very closely orbiting. It's so close to colliding. This is where we should go next. I almost feel like the projections are trying to tell you where to go next, maybe? Maybe that's how we interpret it? So we need to go up past Giant's Deep outside. And we saw it. I saw it. I just didn't go there. 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave this projection there because I think we saw everything we need to here. Any cyclones? Okay. The best way to get over to the other side is here. Can I do that though? I've never tried to go back. Oh, well, look at these. I almost missed this. Yeah, this is the cannon. Well, you'd have to be able to jump to it to get back to begin with. So, yep, I think we need to do it. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. Um, we could go on the, the side too. Look at this. Okay, just in case one's coming, we need to go right now, right now, right now. Uh, I think we're fine, but still. Don't trust anything. This is some of the coolest mechanics I've ever seen. Like the way that they make you really feel like you're in space and different worlds and planets and I'm gonna have to carry that back. More of these. I think there's a cyclone close. Do you hear the sound? I need to find a spot that I can stay just in case I get swept up in it. We're gonna get launched out to space. They're getting closer. No! I'm going! Oh, bad news bears. If I can stay right here, maybe I can stay in place. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I guess I could, oh. You know, this might be faster too. Oh, we're about to go back down. No, no, no. Stay, stay. Oh, snap. Oh, that was actually close. I think I would have floated up because I didn't realize it was, uh, yeah, it was stopping me from going up because of the, oh, oh. Brittle hollow projection stone. Hold on. This is gonna be, it will show us where we need to go on the brittle hollow or on brittle hollow. Oh, the mystery, the connections, the puzzles. I don't think there is anything else in that area. This is good, this is good. Water's coming up, water's coming up. Water. Wow. Okay, let's put it on both because we might get different translation text. Riddle hollow projection stone. <gasps> this is the observatory. This must be the observatory that I missed. And I bet you this is where um, Rybeck is too. There's another projection stone to tell us where to go to next. But also there's information on deep. Look, the cyclones, controlled cyclones inside of this? Doesn't make sense. All right, we need to find this. We need to finish our business in Brittle Hollow. Uh, shoot, okay, hold on. Let's put this back here. And drop that. Back up this. It's kind of cool if you think about it that even the stone itself can stand the weight, like can stand going up into space and then also being underwater without moving. Like it's that solid. I don't know how that really works, but. Cassava. Conway, Daz, and I are, were lifting orbital probe cannon components into the orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. <gasps> orbital probe cannons, a component, sank below. Conway, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink, even partially below the current, which is what um, Gavin's been trying to do. But ours sank straight to the core. What was it made of? Cassava convinced me to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your in interesting question. This is very exciting. Spire constructed a model of the Giant's Deep here at Brittle's Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. This is what we saw in the projection, so we definitely need to go back to Brittle Hollow. Kanoi. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the, observ the observatory, would you kindly explain? Still struggling with that word. If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon 
and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I don't think I've gone to either of those. I've never seen the Quantum Tower. This was such an awesome find. Okay, so let's get back to... Oh, more deaths too. I wonder what caused it. 60 seconds of oxygen. I wasn't even tracking my oxygen either. There we go. Yeah, I was not following along with my oxygen. I don't think there's anything for us to grab over there. The anti-cyclone chambers. That's so cool. There's supposed to be, I think, four islands total, though. So let's go ahead and see if we can find the other two. And this must protect my ship from launching out. So that was the perfect landing zone. The Nomai are brilliant. All right, let's return our suit. Let's go to our... Oh, we don't have power on this. Yeah. We have very limited power. Ugh. Exit ship to repair electrical system. Damaged at the hole. I did not see that. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Gotcha. Right, 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 right. Except that I'm not going to be able to... I might have to repair that out in space. I'm too heavy. Gravity's 2.0. Hold on. I can't survive if I go out without that, right? No. There's no way for me to do that. Um, I'll have to suit up and repair it later. We'll have to repair it when we're back out in space. That's unfortunate. I know. I know I can't. I can't. Okay, so let's take off and look for the other islands. Should be one more. In the eye of the hurricane. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I think that's the main island, no? The smoke rising? That's, um, that's our boy's island. Isn't it? Yeah, that's our boy's island. But maybe I'm able to repair it here? Like, let me see. Let me land the ship right here, specifically. And pop down. Um, I'm thinking if I back it up and then I land, like I can step on here and get up to it. You know what I mean? Mm, this would work. I just need to be able to position it right. I want to get that back so that we can see everything. <laughs> right, rotate, rotate ship, rotate. Okay, back it up. What's the chances that worked? Perfect. Okay, before the cyclones come. Before the cyclones come. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. They're right on our tail. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! Get in! Woo! Okay. Well, I didn't mean to... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Land back on it. Oh, no, it's so hard to land when you're... Okay, just go back into the planet. Just go back. Here we go. This is cool. This is so incredible. So we can go down into the water, which isn't bad. Should I go inside one of them? What if there is an island on the inside? Like if I go forward and then I go down. <gasps> Yeah, this was inside of that thing. Perfect landing. I'm getting the hang of it. I really am. I think the more time that you like you spend in the game, it's natural that you're going to get better at it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see all the rumors. So many, so many new rumors. Gavros Island, Ocean Depths, Orbital Probe Cannon. Construction yard. That was the construction yard. Yes. I love the way that they've done this. Map mode. We have a couple new entries. So Gabra's Island. We have Statue Island, which is where we're at right now. Yeah. This has to be Statue Island. Something crazy is happening outside. I'm about to get zapped.
That thing exploded, right? Here it comes. Brace yourself. This is a lot better than the few other times that this has happened. It just always happens when I get to the best parts, you know? It's always when I get to the best dang parts. By all means, send me back, baby. Like, that was such a good landing. <gasps> Let's do it again. I love that like deep breath every time it happens again. And actually you see that explode every time, like that, that piece break off every single time. Right? At least now we know, like now that I read it, I understand and I can move forward and expect it whenever we hear that. It was funny the first time that happened and even the second time, cause I didn't, there was, I don't think there was anything I had read that indicated what it was until we talked to him, yeah. Until we talked to him. So it was a good thing we went to Giant's Deep, truly. There's a new entry here. Yes, ocean current discovery. We do need to go back to the Southern Observatory. I figure we're gonna have to go back to Giant's Deep at some point anyway, so I say we focus on getting back to Brittle Hollow because it's so terrifying. <laughs> For an island, wait, wait. This island is where the Nomai built the orbital probe cannon. For some reason, the Nomai put the orbital probe cannon on indefinite hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to the Nomai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital cannon. It's true. It's true. Orbital probe cannon. Maybe we should try to land on that. The Nomai finished building the final module for the orbital probe cannon and sent it to orbit around Giant's Deep. I used a Nomai projection pool and saw the interior of a space station in orbit around Giant's Deep. Gabber sees a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening in orbit around Giant's Deep. So this thing is coming from Giant's Deep. Or around all of them. Um, yeah, bear with me. I realize that just because I'm reading them while I'm going through and discovering them, I forget that there's more information. And it also makes it, actually, that's really nice of them. It makes it a little bit more user-friendly, the way that they describe it. Like, there are slight differences. I almost feel like they're kind of, like, handed to you to understand more, um, more of the context by actually sitting here reading these and not just looking at the rumor mode. So... Statues Island, one of the islands on Giant Steeps has a Nomai statue on the beach, just like the one Gabbro brought back from Timber Hearth. It's the one with the two islands connected by a natural rock, so I don't think it is this. I think we saw a different island. So we've been to the construction yard. What was the island we went to? I want to go back to Giant Steep. I'm also trying to avoid brittle as long as possible. <laughs> Gabber says that there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. The Nomai on the construction yard saw something sink below the underwater current, which they'd previously thought was impossible. Right, let's go back to Giant Steep. Um, by day three, this is all kind of exciting because I don't know if you guys remember how you felt when you first played it too, but when you're playing a game, no matter what it is, I feel like there's an acclimation period of where you are in this, like, wonder and awe and trying to also understand how the game wants you to play what's going on with the game what's like the gist of it and i get it now i feel like i understand all the components like i know that it's very simple to begin with and it feels simplistic but also there's just a lot of details that i want to make sure i'm picking up on i just want to do the game justice you know and be able to give you guys as in-depth thoughts as i possibly have and this was a part of it that i was not tracking was the um kind of entries that they created from here. This was something we weren't really focusing on in the first two episodes. So I do want to go forward, making sure that we're checking this, checking the rumor, you know, like kind of seeing all of them. I, this makes my heart so happy seeing both of these because I am a visual learner, a hundred percent. Like I need to see it to really like understand it. So that's why sometimes when you're talking to people, it's great. But once I can see like even the conversations that I had with Gabro, like seeing them in the entry mode just helps kind of piece it together a little bit more. And I love this, like the color coding, showing question marks, things I still have to discover. Like this makes my heart so happy. I always talk about like, it would be a dream of mine one day to see a storyboard 
for or like character storyboards like how creators and developers come up with this stuff and make characters consistent for, across all their dialogue and just how they come up with it i always want to see what happens behind the scene with games like i'm sure maybe i know a lot of people would be like it's not actually that exciting but i mean i feel like i get to see the finished product all the time and getting to see like the process of how something like this comes to pass would just be the biggest honor ever you know imagine just the creativity that goes into making this there's more to explore here right okay so back to giant's deep we're going to explore that as much as possible and kind of keep building this web over here into giant's deep then we'll also spend time back in brittle's hollow but i'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick <laughs> i love this game i know i just sound like a broken record but i love it i love it okay okay bye <laughs> Two. I almost said to Niflheim. <laughs> Hold on, wrong game. To Ocean's Deep. Okay, I think we're officially in orbit. And oh, so far no Ash Twin. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, the moon's out. That's the moon. That's the um. I don't even think, I think if you autopilot, you're never going to land on it, you know? I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Autopilot, autopilot, autopilot. Engage autopilot. Go, 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 go. Align, align. You only have a couple times to try to land on it, right? Like, otherwise. Okay. Get into it, get into it. Try to land. Oh, is it not that simple? Okay, here we go. Y'all. What was that? Oh, there it is again. Is that it? No, that's the Ash Twin now. Maybe every time I do it, I keep disappear. Like keeps disappearing. No, it's right there. Maybe anytime you go through it, that's okay. I'm going towards it. I will chase this. Uh, yeah, that sun is not great. Not great. It's a little hot. Autopilot? Okay. Try to land. And we fall straight through. What? It's not just like a... It's not like a... Um, I don't know, a gas... I don't know, a gas... Right? No. I wish I knew more about space, that I could actually guess some of these things. Firing retro rockets. Maybe we should check out the cannon while we're out here? No. I was thinking at first it was going to be like this, where... Alright, we're coming in. Firing rockets. That's not good. Okay. We might have just damaged it a little bit. Let's go this way. Whoa! Okay, we're looking for the big boy. The big boy. The main one. So cool. I wonder if we're gonna be able to find it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is different. We have not been here. This is the one with the, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bring it in for a good landing. Hold on. Oh, oh. Well, that'll do. This is the statue. This has to be the statue one, right? The statue one is the one with, uh, maybe I should adjust this so I'm actually in it. So I protect myself. Yeah. Good, good, good. Buckle up. Yeah, this is the, so let's just double check what we're trying to accomplish here. Let's go to map mode real quick. Diving back into, whoa. 
Brittle Hollow. Does it always look like that? I guess it does. Um, Statue Island, right. Is the one with the two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Good, good, good. So we definitely need to make sure that we're prioritizing finding the statue, but there's other ruins here too. Mm. Also that, the brittle thing. Okay. I see that we're gonna be walking on walls. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I can't make that jump. But the beach is down below. Maybe I can swim over there? Or, oh, I need to go to the top where the arch is so I can walk across. There we go. I cannot wait till we can submerge and see what's under the current, you know? So we've got this first walkway, but there's somewhere else that we can go up. Did I not go around enough? Whoa! Floating rock! Floating rock! Whoa, oh, nope, get me up, get me up, get me up. Floating rock. Floating rock. But I think I've been there before. Let me try to get a look at it. Is that the one with our friend? Jump, 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 jump. That's something different. Okay, it's great. We'll find it. This is the only... Hmm. I'm gonna have to swim across. I can't make that jump. I'll try. But how else would I get on the other rock? Cyclones are coming. I didn't even jump. I didn't even try to jump. The cyclones are coming. I have to drop my ship off. The cyclones coming. Get on the ship. 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 Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Maybe when we get put into space. Right, 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 right. Okay. Open hatch. Yes. Ow. Now come down, come down, come down. Ow. Okay. Oh. Oh, no! Stay here, whatever happens. Nice. Oh, skeleton. The stat. Oh! Yeah! That's exactly what he saw before. Statue workshop. This is where they made all the statues. We're going up again! Get here! I think we're gonna go up again. No, it should have passed us, right? Yeah, I don't think you can get launched multiple times. I think it's past us for now. All right. That branch is not making this easy. This. <sighs> Tree is detected. Or loss. What wiped them out here? Was it starvation? Was it... You know what I mean? Like, there's bones in every single ruins that we've been to, so something else caused this. Something had to have caused this. They couldn't have all died. I feel like there's also smaller bones, too. But I don't think... I don't think they would have had... Maybe... They wouldn't have had children on this expedition. Maybe... All right, we've got a bunch of stuff here. We have a tornado catcher. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, this is awkward. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. All right, let's translate. There's so much more down there too. 
They're probably going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we won't come. Lammy. But what if we didn't use the door? But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Tag it. Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see it later. These sound, I think the way that this is done, I feel like there were children. Because also, my thought with this too, there had to have been children. Because remember the classroom down below in the Hanging City? Yeah. All right, we got our scout back. There definitely were children. What's up here? So many trees. Okay, the cyclones should be a while before they catch back up. There's the big one. We have to get over there at next. So this can be a port where we can come out of from the station. We should be able to fast travel here, no? At some point. <gasps> Translation. Next. Those things are getting close, so I need to be careful. I feel like they're seriously getting close. Um, welcome to Giant's Deeps, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues, Phlox. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely to be in my workshop below, inside the island. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Need to get to the workshop down below. Now that we've opened this, maybe it's possible to center ourselves here? We'd have to align the cannon, right? Oh, we're fine. We're fine. This is fine. Okay, trees detected. We got our oxygen back. We see another tornado or cyclone thing. How do we get down below? There's got to be another path. Something else. Oh, and we need to cross the, the bridge, too. This is where we came from, though. Yeah, this is where we jumped up from. It's getting really dark. I feel like it won't be too long before we have another explosion. Take us away. Take it away, Ernie. Um, is it possible that we can't go there yet? Like we have to maybe get to it from something else? Okay, they're not too close yet. Also, where is the natural, this was the natural bridge, was right there. Yeah, that was the natural bridge. That's where we walked up. That's where we parked our ship. How would we get down below? Maybe from another side? Maybe once again something happens when we get taken up into space? Like maybe the anti-cyclones turn into something else? Oh no! Oh no, get to one, 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 get to one. It's happening, it's about to happen. We're in the eye of it. That was some kind of branch. The bramble. The bramble smacked into the island. I'm staying here for a second because they are right by us. But I do want to see what the bramble is. Okay, I think it missed us. Maybe. The bramble's moving away. Huh. We can get a closer look at it. <gasps> we have to be able to go where, yeah, we have to be able to go where we've never been able to go before. There's that island. Everything's colliding here. We have to figure out how we can navigate through that stuff. The icky. The icky stuff. 
Yeah, I don't really have a good idea for how we're going to get through yet, but I say we progress to the other area first. Like, maybe there'll be a path down below from the other... Because the other one's not far away, and that one does not move. Um, where was it? The Bramble Planet's going to be a beast. Let's you see this. Trace detected. We got our oxygen back. Let's go ahead and get down to our ship. That hasn't activated yet. <gasps> oh. What compelled me to jump down without using my rockets? I don't know. Don't look at me like that. I know. <laughs> don't. Don't. I... <sighs> By the time I tried to use my rockets, it was too late. I think part of it was like a rush to get off of that situation. <gasps> the amount of deaths that I've had. Go, go, go. Okay, we're gonna keep with it though. Go back to deep and go inside of the thing that we missed when we last got exploded. And launch me. Toss me. Okay, we are looking for... Rotate this way. Where are you? There it is again. It's gone! You guys saw that, right? I'm not going crazy. I'm not going crazy. I'm gonna do this without autopilot. I'm excited. Good, good, good. Ding, ding. Yeah, bro. Dun, 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 dun. There's that thing again. I'm leaving him alone. I am so crashing into this. Okay, we, actually that was really efficient. Woo! There we go. That's what we're not that. In the eye. All right, we need to go up, over, down. Ready? And bring it down. Woo! Alright. And level out, level out, level out. And perfect, perfect. Almost like nothing even happened. Right. We should be safe from the other cyclones inside of this. Should be. What is this? Oh, I can't get down there. The current, right? This almost looks like an assembly, like a meeting, like a judgment pit or something. Something. Put away. We snapped a picture of it for Tree Scout. Hmm. Again, they had to have been here for a very, very long time to create something like this, right? I mean, this architecture is so this isn't like a temporary thing that you build wow look at these corridors look at these straight lines these walls they were able to create all the etchings it's missing a little piece to hold it oh here we go too close to target there we go <laughs> be welcomed in this place this tower shares with El, who asked the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Quantum journey? Okay. Whoa. Wow. Just like focus solely at the inside of the spiral. Oh, shoot. 
Those aren't the shards. Okay. I thought that was the G matter or whatever it is. Enter this place without friends, however. These are lessons to learn for yourself. Am I even capable of bringing friends with me? The trees have all died. I mean, I, f I, I feel like I have friends. Trees detected. I have friends, just not physically with me right now in this one. It's the matter that changes, guys. Right? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seek the wandering arch. <gasps> the wandering arch. There. Keep eyes on. Don't let it go. Keep eyes on. That thing. One of those. I should be taking more pictures. I honestly should. I mean, I know I'm seeing all of this for myself, but he's gone. There. Take a snapshot. What if with the thing it would move? Okay. Feel like I've done my best. Now it's just a. <gasps> so creepy, I'm leaving. Okay. There, eyes on. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum subject. Bonsai. This is still this. The bonsai is there. Or the tree, whatever they are, I keep saying. <gasps> the, the, I saw it, I saw it. <gasps> there, but there's no way for me to Okay, it's gone. But even if I got to it, I wouldn't be able to go through it. So we have to figure out, okay. Seeing an image of it. An image of a quantum object is gone. Okay, take this back. So maybe, maybe if I just look down, like look at it, find it, right? But I can't always look at it. See, it moves whenever I look out a scope. That thing's there now. Now the tree. I can't see the... Is it because I'm too close to it? The tree. Oh, I could see a corridor. But the, the arch will never be in this location. Okay, let me read that thing again. Seeing a picture of it's the same as actually seeing it? Is that what it said? Okay, so it's right there. Now the bonsai's there. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. I will figure this out. Read this again. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Observing an image of a quantum object. I thought I took images of them. 
Observing an image of a quantum object are the same as observing. How have I launched him? Oh, sir. Oh, it's because of the way that he's looking. Observing, and I don't think that is what it means when it says image. It's gone. I thought I could get it to be tricked and stay. Maybe as in like <sighs> How would I be able to get it to come to me and launch where I am? Maybe oh. I don't think it has anything to do with this, but if Scout's in the middle, Scout will be able to lug. Okay, it's right there, right? It stays there. Scout's looking at it. It's gone. But it's not Scout that's causing it to move. If I'm not looking at it, then it won't move, right? Or it moves every single time I'm not looking at it. Wait a minute. Okay. Here's the thing. If we path... Okay, so maybe... Okay, it's right here, right? If I go into... Where am I? This is so complicated. Wait. I was in it, right? A minute? Let me go into the center. Okay, now I'm in it. Okay, hold on. Damn. Okay, that was a little bit more difficult than I was thinking in my head, but overthought that one. Scout, come back. Here we go again. But this is where we just were. Okay, it's gotten a little bit more complicated. <laughs> the arch and crystal do not naturally meet. <gasps> Crystal's gone. Can you use it every single time, though? It doesn't let me get there. Oh. They don't naturally meet, but if you have them on the same level, then you can... Okay. They don't naturally meet, but you can force it to go. Will it move if I'm standing on it? No, so it will still go. A bit of a puzzle. They don't naturally meet, so no matter how many times I look down, they're not going to naturally meet. Is there a method to it? So, like, that's there and that's to the left. Keep eyes on the crystal. We definitely need to be able to use our scout for this. The arch is directly across from it right now. So I can't turn around. How could I do this? The scout, scout doesn't actually take the picture of it. I, it would be one thing if you could just move scout off of looking at. Wait. No, the arch is still there. Yes, yeah, Scout doesn't... No, it's gone. It's gone. It's not there. We need Scout to follow and make it move. That's weird because I didn't think that... 
scout needs to be in the middle, but I need to launch it and keep eyes on this guy. Mm. Scout needs to be a little bit more in the middle. Okay. Keep eyes on this thing, no matter what. And only this thing. Yes. Okay. Now take snapshot. Right. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Okay, we can go off like that and back down. It's not there yet, but that's okay. Eyes on. Force it off. See where it's at? Nope. It's not there yet, but it's now on this one. It's still there. Now it's there. Now it's there. It does not want to go to the one that I'm looking at, does it? Even if I can't see it. So maybe we flip it. Maybe I keep looking at the arch and we try to move the bobble. Yeah, because any way you look at it, it's not moving it over here. If I had to guess, it's because there. All right. So I'm going to keep looking at this guy. We're going to look at Scout and have Scout look at that. Okay, that moves if Scout's not looking at it. Or if Scout looks at it. Maybe neither of them do. They won't naturally meet up. That just spawned. Okay, it just spawned where we saw it. Okay. Does it run to the next side? I swear we can see it moving. What? Look at that. It just keeps bouncing back and forth. Now it's over at this one, but it will not move to the one that I'm on because... <sighs> All right, we've got two things to work with here. I don't think I'm allowed to look at either of them. I almost feel like I can't look at either of them. Oops, sorry. Let me stand somewhere where I'm not blocking it. I just figured I had to keep one of them grounded, you know? But that's not really working for either. Maybe if Scout's looking at one, it won't move. And then I can look at that. Scout's looking at something different. It doesn't work like that. Only my sight can keep it from moving. But Scout's sight can make it move. But if I'm looking at it, then it won't move on the same spot. You see what I'm saying? It's a much easier puzzle than I'm making it out to be, I know. Um, I don't want to look this up either. I have the components. We know that if Scout looks at it, it will move. I don't think there's necessarily a method to it. Just like keep looking until it happens. I'm trying to think what's more important is to look at the bobble or the arch. I feel like it's the arch. Does this move? It moved. Okay, it's on me, it's on me. Now move the <gasps> That was it! No! It didn't do it! It was doing it! It was on it! It was on it! Did you see that? It's on it. Wait. It was on it. They were on it together. But if I look over anywhere else, wait a minute. <gasps> wait a minute. Oh, but the other thing's moving now. Oh my fiddlesticks. I need to not look. I need to just move. Like I did in the other one, I need to just move. There. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my goodness, it's so simple. <laughs> of course. 
course, of course. Ah, uh, although I didn't get the whole, they didn't meet up naturally. Oh, this thing again. Unidentified signal nearby. Wait. Unidentified frequency. Island shard has its own frequency. Island shard frequency quantum fluctuations. Wow. But this has to be the last one. This is the last one, but we made it harder. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I wouldn't expect anything different. Well. Oh, me. Maybe. <sighs> okay, those aren't going to move because I'm looking at them. But where is the other guy? Is there even another guy? Okay, we need to assess the situation. You can have two like this, but then you'll fall. Oh, it's not even that. You can have two. Wait a minute. Hold on. You can have two. What in the, what? get off of me. Okay, you can have two, right? Well, first of all, hold on. What's up there? Oh, I can't even get Scout up there. I cannot get Scout up there. So we just have to hope that we're at the right spot. Maybe if Scout is looking at him? See what happens? Oh, because you go down. Oh. It's like, it would be like, um... Oh, but now I look... Okay, okay, hold on. No, this shouldn't actually be that much more difficult, right? Because you just need to keep looking until you have... Until you have a guy down at the bottom. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know if Scout's gonna help with this. Hold on. <sighs> Naturally. I need to get a bottom one. Now, now that we have this, we keep him in our sight, but we move the other guy. You know what I mean? So rotate with this rock. Oh, did that not work? Oh, because you can't keep him in. So do you have to? Okay, we need Scout to tell us where to go. I do agree. I think we need Scout to have, tell us where to go. Because Scout will see that Scout doesn't matter. Like, Scout doesn't move them. I don't think. Will they move if Scout's... They won't move if Scout's looking. Move Scout away. Move me away. Here we go. This should be easy, because we've got two. What? Move Scout over. And then I walk up. Now, move Scout down to where Scout is just seeing the second one. Now let me move my face off. And I move my face. So I'm grounded to this because Scout is looking at it. Ah, uh, no, I'm no! I am in the middle of this. Do not do this to me. Game, do not do this to me. <laughs> Guys, it's happening. <sighs> it's happening. Obliterated! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, at least on the bright side, I know how to do it now. You know, I think I've finally gotten the idea of snapping the picture and everything. So that was kind of fun to figure that out in my head. <laughs> Is it just me or do your days feel like they're shorter and shorter too? <gasps> That's so infuriating. We're gonna have to start that whole thing back over. 
It'll be worth it'll be worth it though. It definitely will be worth it once we get it. I'm sure there's something juicy. There's gotta be something juicy. And I think I was I think I had it. Like I really think I had it. With the um with the scout and using all of that. Oh, we have so many things. Statue Island. Tower of Quantum. Oh, this is off to the side. There's more to explore here. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object. Right. There's still so much to explore here. I do almost want to go back to Brittle Hollow before we continue down the ancient statue. I am trying to finish. I know you'll go back and forth between all the planets. It won't be that easy, but I think we should try to. I do. Oh, the Hanging City. Yeah. That was a little... That just took the wind out of my sails. Just a smidge. Not not really. Like, it's just one of those things that now that I know it's happening, I've got to remember it's happening, and I've got to just move forward. Just move forward. Knowing that my time out um, each day is limited, so... And that makes sense why every single time you start afresh, you know what I mean? Like, every single time you get back into the game, you start like that. So I have to put this down for today, but you guys are going to keep seeing stuff. I'm just going to step out for a second and I'll be all different because it'll be a different day for me. But uh, we're going to keep this episode going a little bit further. I think because of how uh, I'm doing like more of a slow approach to it, I'm probably going to try to push for more to two and a half hour episodes. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Ow! All right. So I know like it was two seconds ago for you guys, but it was yesterday for me. I know I said that we were just going to go to Giants or um, explore the rest of Brittle Hollow before going back to Giants Deep. But I slept on it and I can't in good conscience not finish that tower. I mean, we got completely screwed at the last minute. Completely screwed. So we're going to head back to the tower. We're going to solve the puzzles and then that might be a good stopping point for this video. I still can't believe that happened. See what's going on here. Okay, and I think it went this way. Nope. That's the sign. Where's Giant Steve? One day I'll know exactly how to look at this. And find it. I actually believe I will. There it is. And the thing that broke off, we do need to figure that out too. Mm. And the dang moon, the phantom. The phantom menace. Okay, okay, going in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. Nope, we're going around it. We're going around it, get back in. Ship go! Match velocity and go in. Bit of a rough landing there. Whoa! There's our big guy. All right, up and over. Up and over. And up. And back down, back down, back down. Perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady. Bring her in. A little bit more rough than I normally have for landing, but we didn't crash and that's what counts. All right, super secret tower. This time I'm not getting zapped. There's no way. I'm playing through cyberpunk right now and I just got the double jump. And so I have that feeling that I can still double jump even though I know it's not even the same game. It just feels like it. Are we even getting signals from within here? I think it was just the quantum shard, right? It knows that we've already done this. Whoa. Okay, I thought it was gonna say welcome back. I thought for some reason it said welcome back and I was like, Bleh. It knows. It knows. And I know she knows. Right to you. 
into the woods. All right, trees detected to oxygen. I guess that means you could technically take it off, but. Right, we have to follow this, so keep eyes on. I love the music in this area too. It's that same kind of, I feel like this is just the know my culture music. Like at, at some point it just is, I associate it with anything that is no my. It's like this Mr. I mean, oh, I, that is a whole nother topic, but audio and the audio specifically in this game, they know when to kind of keep it as this very like low in the background, not intrusive. Like none of the music in this game has been intrusive. It's been just accompanying the moment and the scene in the most perfect way. All right. Scout. And then keep Scout on. Eyes down. I think this is the best way to do it. Then we go around. And then in. All right. First level down. Oh, we got to retrieve Scout. Come on, Scout. But yeah, everything, like, the know my sound, I think it's... It's just beautiful because, to me at least, it feels otherworldly, mysterious, but also there's this, um, oh, okay. Right, so what did we learn about this? We learned I need to look down and we just need to hope that it, there. Right, where am I? Perfect. Easy peasy. Isn't it crazy to see that after it took me like 30 minutes last time to figure it all out? Last one, we promise. Okay, so I think we figured this out, right? I think we figured this out, but we need to have Scout here. And we need Scout to be looking at this, and then I have to be looking down. Does it move when I move? Did we test that? Okay, as long as Scout is looking at it, it will not move. Hmm. Okay, so turn Scout away, turn me away. Right, okay, turn Scout back on just that single shard. Because I need to make sure the shard stays here so that I can walk. Now for me, I need to flip till it goes right by me. Not exactly what I need, but... Okay, that's in the middle. So I walk to this middle one. No! I, I took my eyes off of it, didn't I? I took my eyes off of it. So stay here. Now Scout looks up. Oh, but how is Scout supposed to do that? Maybe Scout, oh, it moved. Okay, let me look at it. If Scout turns away, will it ever go up to the third floor? Let me move this way and turn my back on the top floor. There, 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 there. Oh, I ran into it. Okay. Tell me it's not on the other side. There you go. Woo! I don't wanna, I want to look at the other side real quick. I guess it could be over there too, but I just lucked out that it was here. Wait, get him back. What is this? I wonder if that sends us all the way back down to the bottom. Look at them. We offer our congratulations. We've learned the rule of quantum imagining. Imaging, sorry. Take this knowledge with you on the reminder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember that other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on the, your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Okay. That's maybe 
a depiction of one of the planets that we need to go to, the next spot to go to, for the imaging. That looks like one of the walls that you would normally read off of. <gasps> All right, trying to sneak up and scare me like that, come on. That's it. There's other quantum paths to find. I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna take a screenshot of that, just in case. Okay, that wasn't exactly yielding what I expected. I, I'm not even sure what I was expecting, but, huh. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you. There's other lessons to be learned. Into the pool. Wow. So maybe height does matter how far you can go into the deep? Huh. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Oh, oh, I thought we were all underwater. Oh, there we go, we're fine. Hmm. Well, that's that. <laughs> that's that. Hmm. Very curious. I think there is actually one more island we need to land on here, too. So maybe we can cover that, and then we'll do Brittle Hollow in the next episode. Okay, return suit, and let's view the ship log. We should have gotten something new, right? Map mode? We do have a new entry here. So the statue island. This island must be where the Nomai created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looked just like the one in the observatory. That was different. Statue workshop, right. We found a sign of a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island, which we need to get into. We still haven't gotten to the bottom of the statue workshop, yeah. Some know my children debated bypassing the statue's workshop door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route. I can see into a large cave from one of the ruins at the top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. Swim into it. We should try, we should go back to the statue island. An ocean depth, we still have to figure that out. And it looks like we are all done with Tower of Quantum Trials though. From what I can tell, if you found everything, it goes white. The tower held knowledge of a Nomai needed to make his or first quantum journey. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, they are the same. The Nomai called this the rule of quantum imaging. Remember the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. We've seen shards all over the place, too. Okay, let's get into the statue workshop. Let's get back to Statue Island and then find our last remaining island. Orbital probe. There is still something to be done here. But that, I think, is related to the giant flashing light period. So let's also go to the rumor mode because this is all, yeah. Orbital probe cannon. Let me zoom in. Construction yard led to ocean current discovery. The southern observatory that we need to head to on Brittle, which we know about. I signal locator Ryback, right? That's all actually Brit. Oh, yep. The vessel, all of that stuff. Ash twin here. Quantum moon. This was what we learned. Yes, Tower of Quantum. Okay. Let's go back to the Twin Islands and try to find that fourth island as well. There should be one more island. Oh my gosh. Up and over. Up and over. It's that noise. Oh, oh, back in, back in, back in, back in. Oh! Okay, there we go. We're fine. This is good. This is good. All right, we're looking for two islands. The dual islands connected by a bridge. And then the... Random floating. Whoa, hold on. Right, okay, I get it. So you can't go any further in the current, but you can be in the water. Whoa. I didn't even think to try that the last time. Okay, I don't like it though. I don't know if there's anything we can really do with his ship. I love how he's like, I don't know where it is, but 
I'll find it when I need it. Oh! Hmm. Okay, we're back on the... Oh, me trying to just jump out of the cockpit like that? Okay, I see. Okay, so first off, let me make sure that... I mean, that... Mm, that cyclone... I don't know if it just passed or if it's headed... I think it's passing. So the children spoke of a more dangerous way underneath water. We need to swim around the water. Mm. Or when it gets picked up by a cyclone, maybe we can go up and under. I don't want to be in the water. It's so dark. All right, kids, where is this path? What is that? That's the other island. That's the floating island. Wait. Wait, don't swim out to it. Don't swim out to it. This is haunting. There's only so far down I can go. Maybe here? Maybe here? Whoa! Sure enough, yeah, the tree. Must have been an indication. <gasps> Look at this. Wow. Okay. And then that's back out. Okay, we fixed it. So we don't have to go underwater again. Oh no! Oh, we're going into space. Oh shoot. Okay, this is like the best spot to be in. Let me just hang out here. Just hang out with the statue. <laughs> Look, you can see the stars. Oh. Okay, we're going back down. And yeah, I probably should be in one of the chambers, shouldn't I? I need to start being in one of the chambers. more death. Tons of statues. <gasps> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Did I even try to jump? I don't know. Maybe you have to be scooped up to be able to get across. I think I've done messed up. I have messed up. We might have to wait for a whole nother one. No. By the time we wait for another one, we could get zapped, too, into the previous day. Okay, let me try. <sighs> There's no way. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I had it all. And you know what's crazy is I almost went over to get tucked into one of the cyclone chambers, anti-cyclone chambers. Yeah, this is super unfortunate. I'm gonna have to sit here and wait. I mean, I, I guess I might as well keep trying. <laughs> so scary. Whoa! Wait a minute. I'm being a goofball, ignore me. I have a thing called a jetpack. I just haven't been using it like nearly We're gonna track this up too, it's early in the morning. And we're never gonna talk about it again, okay? I think I've done that multiple times too. I know for a fact I've done that in another situation where I'm like, how do I get across? It was actually to... <laughs> it was on this island before. You know when you're trying to jump over and I'm like, I can't make that jump. <sighs> Imagine having a jetpack and not using it. Okay, we've got two different looking gnomies. Huh. A recording. Phlox, Yarrow. Would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us that the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin project. My memories are being stored at Ash Twin. 
This is extraordinary sculpting, sculpting work, Flux. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now we can have our first successful pairing. We can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. But our storage unit isn't on Ash Twin. But the storage unit, okay, so the statue is different from the storage unit. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. This one he looks more wise than the rest. Interesting. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Oh, I've got a lot of things to do and not enough time. All right. There's a good chance I might suffocate, but that's okay. As long as I clear this area. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful. Although I do feel as though I'm being observed. This is rainy. It's comforting to know that the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience will be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statue will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profound, horrific fate that would be. If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Well, we know something's gone wrong. A horrific fate indeed. Let's see the astral projection. Another Ash Twin. Okay. Here, this one again. We've seen this. This is... Two of them are still lit up. This matches the same one that we saw on Timber Hollow. Timber Hearth. I'm gonna start letting the astral projections play out. See how the orbs are coming in closer? Is it slowly getting more narrow? I can't quite tell. We are still rotating. It's not getting more narrow. <sighs> get me out, get me out, get me out. It's terrifying. What? Oh, yep, there we go. Yep, that, that'll do. That'll do. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I need to... I needed oxygen anyway, but... Oh, that's unfortunate. I might need to go back there where we can be picked up by the sky. Oh. I've had a lot of, like... I was fine with the deaths in the first, like, two episodes because I was learning so much, right? Like... I, just trying to understand the game but the further you get into the game you're like stupid i should have known better like why did i do that um however i think we were getting close to the end of the day too so it is what it is we just have to land back and it's not like anything at least with these closer planets and moons it's not the worst thing in the world to have to reset at those points so i to be kind to myself that'll take a second anna um we need to land on the other piece anyway. So we weren't done with it. There you are. Come here. Engage autopilot. All right, so. I, I'm trying to come up with predictions. I really am. I think there is so much to digest in this game and I am sure there are threads after threads after threads of trying to make sense of everything that happens in this game. Especially with the mystery of the Nomai. But I still think that I'm just trying to... I'm trying to understand more of it. I'm trying to pick up more... I just need more pieces of information before I can even... Kind of put together what I think happened here. You know? Uh, okay, switch view. And... 
Perfect. Okay, that's where our guy is hanging out. That is his ship. And this is the bramble that we are not touching that's getting picked up in the cyclone. I think we can land on that. I reckon when it gets sent up into the sky, we can land on it, maybe? All right. Oh! Oh! Nice. Wait, wait, wait. We're getting picked up. Stay. Stay. We're in space. We're officially in space. <laughs> I just applaud the brilliance that's behind this game. And wait for it. Perfect. Okay. That actually would have been nice to be able to utilize that to our advantage because we could have used it to just get a little bit higher up in the chamber. But I'm gonna have to use my jetpack. There surely is a, see this is where I could have jet. Remember when I was looking at it guys and I was like, did I figure out a jet? I think I used space to my advantage in that situation. Oh. What? Crummy? Part of me kind of wants to get picked up in one just for science. Just for science. No, stupid, stupid. Look, there's a jellyfish really close to us. Okay, what will be the fastest way? How could we possibly get up there? My jetpack has... It's because our sense of the, uh, it's because of the gravity. Mm, I reckon it's gonna be a while before we get picked up by space too. But I need to get up there. I just wanna make sure, I'm pretty sure this has already been logged in my ship. That will be the test. Yeah, I've logged it all. Look at that, I cannot, like I can make these little itty bitty jumps, but there is no way for me to launch myself all the way up there, unless I get into space. Let me make this hatch real quick. I need that translation text. Uh, oh, let's unlock our path here. And other than that, we're gonna wait. We're just gonna wait it out. Because I really want to get this translation. So we can just kind of talk through, too, while we wait to be scooped a whooped. I don't think about this wrong. I'm just trying. No. I'm just using all my fuel at this point. Okay. We'll hold off for space. In the meantime, Okay, in the meantime. I guess we could pull up. I can't really pull up a map, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, so in the meantime. Let's pull up the map. I actually don't use this as well. And I think this is something really important to remember too. Is that I, I even forget about this. But especially take into consideration too when you're watching this. That this is my first playthrough of this, right? Like I don't have multiple playthroughs behind it. I haven't. Played. I've only really played about six hours of it and there's so much to it. So I just think it's too early in the game for me to be able to start connecting more and more pieces. Look, you can see that thing in the distance. Yeah, something's completely broken in the system. Or I guess in the... We have dark bramble over here. We still have to figure out all of that. We've got to get back to Brittle Hollow. So that is going to be our pass. Also, what is with the interloper? We've got to figure that whole part out too. I'm kind of saving the Hourglass Twins for after we finish Brittle Hollow. And I'm wondering, I think those are just stars exploding in the background, right? Timber Hearth, I think is mostly done. Mostly. These little guys. That's going to be so difficult to land on. And what is this? A little itty bitty guy. 
Brittle Hollow. I wish there were any other way, but look, like there's no, I cannot get the height there. Nope. No. There, that was kind of good. If I, if I crouch, if I crap. Mm. Do you think that's possible? If I crouch, jump, wait, let me test it. Crouch. Also three minutes of oxygen left. Come on, pick us up. Pick us up. Pick us up. I hear winds howling. I'm gonna stand on this just in case. Yes, 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 yes! All right, protect ourselves for a second until we're officially, here we go. Yes. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Oh, okay, come down. Get in the chamber, get in the chamber. Nice. Woo, let's go. Come on, take me back down. Yeah, I can see why that would hurt me before. Coming all the way down from space. Wait a minute. I think we just got picked back up. I just got picked back up. We're still in space. I think. We got double picked up. I guess I got what I asked for. In surplus. Okay, I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Cassava, wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. Oh, I gotta read this again. If I were to send my memories back in time, is it the same as sending me back in time? Would your memories... Well, mmm. There are two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? If you're sending your memories back, that's the essence of you. I guess it depends if you separate your memories from you as a person. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Huh. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. Okay. That was worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Oof. Every time I try to do a landing. All right, I think we're done with this area. Let's skedaddle back home. We need trees, I know. Get me back up! Get me out of the water! Imagine if there were sea creatures. 60 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know there's, aren't there plants somewhere? Well, it doesn't matter, hold on. Woo! We live to see another day. All right, return suit. Nice, okay. Let's just double check that that doesn't have any more orange around it. Yep, okay, statue workshop is connected to the Ash Twin project, so we did just figure that out. Let's view the rumor. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to the corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. It's just a massive storage room. Nomai statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. <sighs> we need to learn more. The Hanging City, there's so much more to explore there. But for now, let's go back to map mode. Let's go to Giant Steep. It doesn't say that there's new entries done, but I think it's done. Yeah, Statues Island is no longer orange. So that's good to go. We have ocean depths, but let's go find that last island that floats around like crazy. It's tiny, it's like itty bitty. Okay. 
Level out, level out. Not that island? Um, wait, hold on. Maybe this island? Uh, I th no, 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 no. We've landed on this island. That is the construction. Construction, because didn't he say there's four total islands, right? Okay, there's the statue workshop. I love how my head's like moving as if I'm in this. I'm getting motion sick. There's no way for me to land on that, is there? Uh, not true. Not true. However, I cannot get past the matter. The, uh, we're gonna have to figure out something. We're gonna have to add something to our, this, this is this. We're gonna have to add something to our suit that enables us to, not this. <laughs> enables us to be able to get past that, uh, ghost matter or whatever ghost. Okay, there is where our friend is. And is it this one? No. That is the construction chamber. No, that is four. That would be four. Because you would have the massive island inside of the crater. Oh, inside of that thing. Inside of massive cyclone. You'd have the construction center. And then you have... Whoa. That was really cool getting to see that form. There's actually, I almost feel like there's more. Like more than there were before. Then there's the island he's floating on, right? And then there is the statue workshop. So that's it. Let's get out of here. I'm out. So cool. There's this thing, and I can land on it. Well, mm, it goes too fast. How would you be able to, there's no way. I gotta figure it out though. Maybe there'll be something that can directly transfer us to it. Okay, I think this is the perfect stopping point. Yeah, I think this is the perfect stopping point. I need to reset the day anyway, that way we can make the most of it by the time we go to Brittle Hollow. So we're gonna float in space here for a second, but that is it. This episode we got to, I'm gonna, well, let me match velocity to something, hold on. I'm gonna match velocity. Um, that is it. I think we've completed as much as Giant's Deep as possible, minus getting to see the little floater, the Orbital Pro Cannon, we still need to explore as well. It's not saying there's more to be discovered here, but it is still showing the orange, which tells me there's more to be discovered without it saying it. But yes, the last thing we have to figure out on Giant's Deep, at least that we know of right now, is the ocean's depths. But we cannot proceed with that until we go to the Southern Observatory on Brittle Hollow. So that is where we're going to head to next. Outside of that, we have not even gotten close to Dark Bramble. I don't even think I can get close to that anyway until I figure out how to work through the ghost matter. Now, maybe getting through, oh, the White Hole Station, maybe getting through the ghost matter, Quantum Moon. I know, I gotta get it. I will get it one day. Also, Hollow's Lantern, we don't have anything with. Addle Rock's so peaceful <laughs> in comparison to everything else. Escape Pod, High Energy Lab, we know about, and then also the servers. Yeah, the Ashwin Project. On this, we have the Dark Bramble Seed. There's more to explore here. Part of me wants to go back to this because if what if having that small bit of bramble on our home turf and on like Timber Hearth will help us figure out how to use the ghost matter to our advantage or maybe, I don't know, create something that's going to help us navigate through that because there are a lot of passages, even including on Brittle Hollow, that are like we can't work through it because there is dark matter in the way. So we've got to overcome that. So I would suggest that we go, suggest, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to go to Timber Hearth. We're going to go back to the Dark Bramble Seed and also go back to the Ghost Matter. I want to see, when we first read about Ghost Matter, I was just fresh into the game. And I had no idea the impact it was going to have out in the galaxy. So I think we should head back to Timber Hearth. Since we're going to start there anyway, because we'll start a new fresh day. Then we'll go to Brittle Hollow and we will hit up Southern Observatory figure out the ocean current discovery, try to go talk to Ryback. I am probably doing this a little bit different. I'm sure there's a lot of people that do try to go straight out to Dark Bramble. 
or just see each and every one, but I am trying to take each planet and moon and just kind of each section and work those pieces out first before adding more complexity to it. Uh, just to kind of understand what we already have instead of having a million and bajillion webs going on at the same time. So that's my method. That's what I'm going to go with. So with that, I'm going to get straight into recording the next video, but you guys are going to have to wait a couple days. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I know it's filled with chaos. It's definitely a me playthrough from the exorbitant amount of time that I just spend looking at trees and nothingness and taking it all in and just taking our slow time. But I hope you guys are enjoying that aspect of it. I, I'm never just going to rush through and try to just see the bare minimum to get through every single game I pick up. It's not just a game to me. It's I mean, it's definitely a form of escapism, sure. But uh, it's like a visual book. It's a work of art. It's something that I feel like commands my respect and the best way I can respect a game and the people that are behind it. And you guys, for the time that you invest in me, is just taking my time. And so, yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying this and I will see you in the next video. So, all right, bye. I'm going to keep playing this like all day. It's my day off, but I love this game so much, so it doesn't matter.